as a developer, as a new owner of a property, you definitely will need that phase two. So you understand what you're getting yourself into before you buy this piece of property. So you know legally what you can and cannot do on that property. A phase two is the next step in due diligence beyond the phase one to identify if there's contamination on the property. So a phase two looks at the subsurface. It looks at the soil and groundwater. It looks at any kind of potential contamination from you know, historical operations, anything that could have happened on the site. You will need to know this information for your safety and the safety of people that are coming onto your property. Any lender is going to want to know what the contamination is, what they're dealing with. And a new owner is going to want to know what they're getting into before they buy the property. So they're going to want to know if down the road they're going to have to put in a mitigation system or if there's contamination that is on their property that has now migrated off of their property. If they don't identify that that's not their contamination, they could be liable. And there's always a time where there's gonna be a lender involved down the road if you ever wanna sell the property. If you're going to build, say you're going to build and you dig up contamination, you can't just, you can't build over top of it. You can't just take it to the neighbor's yard and dispose of it. So that's kind of why they need to know what's there before they start getting into any of their development or, you know, occupying of the space so they know what they're getting into for that protection. A phase two starts with the soil borings. What we use is a direct push. It's called a geoprobe. It's hydraulically driven and it basically just pushes into the soil. And there's a sleeve inside the metal probe that actually pulls up the soil. And then from there, we can test the soil to see if there's volatiles within the soil. And if we do find that there's contamination, then we will send it off to a lab to identify what that contamination is. For groundwater sampling, we will send down a pump and then collect groundwater samples. And then there's another, there's soil vapor that is within the subsurface, like right below like a, a building foundation. So what we do is we test to see what levels that vapor cloud is at and if that vapor cloud really exists under that building that could potentially migrate up into the breathing zone and cause a problem. Once a phase two is complete, we identify what those concentrations are. We create a data package that the client can readily use and they can see what is going on in their property. So if it's not contaminated, their phase two report will be written and submitted to them, submitted to their lender, whoever needs to see that to close out their loan or whatever you know transaction they're working on. If it's contaminated, that is when we get into the due care, that's when we get into the next step, we get into the remediation, we get into the mitigation, we get into whatever is necessary to make their property safe for them to occupy. We're part of the redevelopment in our community. We have the experience, we have the knowledge in all aspects of any kind of development. We are going to give you what you need at a price that's right, that can get you to your end result. And not a lot of consultants can really say that.